Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to the news. Primate Elijah Ayodele, the leader of the Eru Evangelical Spiritual Church, has issued a warning to the People's Democratic Party, the PDP governorship candidate in Kaduna, in Nasawara State, following the recent development in the election tribunals. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The tribunal had removed the All Progressive Congress APC governor in Nasawara State, Abdullahi Suli, declaring the PDP candidate David Ubugidi, Ubugadu as the winner in Kaduna. A confusing judgment was issued where the PDP candidate Isha Asiru claimed the court declared the election inconclusive while the APC candidate contested otherwise. Ayodele cautioned that the APC is determined to overturn the tribunal judgment in their favor, emphasizing the need for the PDP candidate to closely monitor the case. He highlighted the PDP holds influence in Kaduna, in Nasawara, urging the party to fight vigorously for victory. Ayodele also expressed concern about potential attempts to manipulate the situation, referencing the religious dynamics in the regions. He further warned the APC against obstructing the rule of law and, and justice, emphasizing that failure to uphold justice could lead to dire consequences and render the state ungovernable. The spiritual leader emphasized the importance of allowing the rule of law to prevail and maintain the stability of democracy in the regions. APC in Nasawara is working seriously to overturn the tribunal judgment in their favor and they are very desperate and want to do everything possible. So the PDP must follow them bumper to bumper. They must seek the face of God for them to be victorious. PDP must not take it easy until victory is gotten. PDP owns Kaduna. And PDP owns Nasawara. The party must fight to ensure victory is delivered. The people fighting justice in Kano and Nasawara are the authors of the Muslim Muslim ticket. And they want to use these judges to twist the whole thing. And in Kano, if NNPP sleeps, the APC will win. If the NNPP candidate is sleeping, the APC will surely unseat him. However, the prophet warned APC against preventing the rule of law and justice from prevailing because it would have a dire consequences. The only way our democracy will run, will not run into shabbos is when we allow the rule of law. And if the governorship candidates of the PDP in Nasawara and Kaduna don't get justice in court, the state may be ungovernable because God will be angry, he said. Guys, this is serious. Now, it's a pity that Nigerians are just silent when all these things are happening. Well, this man is more like a political prophet and not God's prophet. The APC seemed like a curse on Nigeria. My dear Primate Ayodele, thank God for your life, oh. but then, this is more like a political pastor and a political prophet. His prophecies that in Tinibu's time, there is going to be higher cost of food, which I saw it and it happened. Many of his prophecies came to pass, but then, how do we go about this please which god please clarify it all because me i don't tire for you i don't tire for you every time you say god is angry already when there is hunger and difficulty in nigeria as we are already going through sir are you a politician or 
you are a man of God. Ayodele, is that what God has sent you to do? By prophesying on issues of politics, to the extent of, of telling PDP to monitor their case, it is very unfortunate too, that a whole man of God is to involve himself on this, uh, you know, some of this issue that has nothing to do with with uh, priesthood. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. But then again, we've always known Primate Ayodele to be a very controversial um, prophet, to be a very controversial prophet who has always been giving their warnings to different parties, different political parties in this country. But you see, more of his prophecies emphasize on the political aspects, you know, and the crisis we are facing in Nigeria. That's where Primate Ayodele comes in. Primate Ayodele has been dishing out series of prophecies, you know, to, to Nigerians, some of which have come to pass, some, well, we don't know about those. But now, according to Primate Ayodele, God will be angry. God will be angry because it seems that the APC, they are cooking up something mischievous. Something very, very mischievous in some states, which will create problems in the nearest future if care is not taken, like in Nasawara states, like in Kaduna. These states should be mindful. Also in Kano, there should be no dulling moment for the parties holding power now. The NNPP should hold on tight. Those in Kano, that's um, in Nasawara, should hold on tight. Kaduna also, they should hold on tight. Because it seems that the APC party, they would go to any length to make sure they get what they want. So if there should be any dulling moment, that is the time the APC would strike. So all political parties in Nasawara, most especially the PDP, and also in Kaduna and the NMPP in Kano should be mindful of the party called APC. So my country people, make on a country mouth for this matter. I'm dropping here guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.